The public relations crisis I researched was titled The Chinese Milk Scandal. The company involved was Sanlu, a leading Chinese dairy producer. The crisis was discovered when infant formula was found to be contaminated with melamine, a toxic substance known for causing kidney failure. So far, there have been four confirmed deaths and over 56,200 sick infants. There have been recalls in over 50 countries. Some of the recalls include infant formula, dairy products, and the popular candy called White Rabbit. The tactic issued by Sanlu was ingratiation. Ingratiation is defined as giving the public something of little significance from the organization. This tactic is usually a cosmetic tactic. This dishonest tactic was discovered through a leaked memo by Sanlu executives. In the memo, the executives offered to pay citizens off to keep quiet about their sick children and the fact that they knew there was melamine in their dairy products. Another solution was to pay search engines to remove negativity about the issues at stake and the negativity towards the company. Ultimately, the strategy backfired, ingratiation did not work, and the leaked memo was sent to public. After the leaked memo was sent, several governments intervened in order to stop the crisis. There could have been so many different ways and different tactics that the Sanlu group could have issued. The first alternative tactic could have been to initially apologize. Apologizing means accepting full responsibility of their actions, being honest and sincere that it was a mistake, and begin rebuilding relationships to form that circle of trust with their consu consumers. Another alternative tactic would be corrective action. This would be to accept the challenge to contain the problem and prevent reoccurrence. This could be issuing that all products be taken off the shelf, creating new products, and thoroughly testing these new products. This is my report on the, San, on the Sanlu milk crisis.